Hi there. The first book I bought on returning home from Japan was The Friends of Eddie Coyle. And uh, it was the first um, by George V. Higgins. And I really enjoyed it. It, it was um, a really terrific crime thriller. And uh, it was subsequently filmed with uh, Robert Mitchum in the lead role. And it was a really good movie as well. George V. Higgins had been um, a prosecutor in the organized crime section of the Attorney General's office in Massachusetts, uh, working in Boston. And um, this background gave him contact with a lot of the underworld. And um, he really writes dialogue exactly as people talk, especially the speech patterns of criminals and underworld types and uh, he, he puts it in his books really well he's written quite a few books um but the diggers game is uh, one of my favorites so we're introduced to digger doherty um who runs a bar in um one of the um, sections of boston and he ha is rumored to own uh, a, a tommy gun and um, the digger has a sideline in heavy robberies, uh, you find out. Uh, and then the, another strand is there's a group of um, businessmen who uh, run junkets, uh, gambling junkets. One of them is uh, a mafia type, one is a loan shark, and the other guy is uh, expert in the travel business. And they've um, come together to offer f uh, flying junkets to places like Las Vegas where people can gamble and then um, they run up debts and um, pay off the the um, punters pay off the interest over a long period of time and it's an ongoing business and um, they uh, are short uh, a few seats for filling a flight so one of them um the mafia guy offers the um seats to some guys he knows uh, who are digger and his pals they go off to vegas and lo and behold digger uh, gambles heavily and comes back in debt and gets the bad news that he owes this money now they've got a problem because they're normally used to people like dentists and so on and um, these guys pay up. Uh, the digger is um, not somebody it's easy to collect money from. In fact, he's the type of guy you send to collect money from people. And um, it's even worse when he realizes the extravagant um, interest that they're charging. And uh, he uh, becomes very, very um, aggressive about it. But um, he realised he does have to pay and initially he asks his brother, who's a priest, a senior priest uh, for a loan, and, um, but then decides uh, he, he needs to uh, earn money by robbery. Um, and they've cased this uh, warehouse that has uh, valuable fur coats, and, but they're short of a wheelman. And there's a guy who comes into the bar who was always decrying his uh, financial statement, Harrington, and uh, they recruit him as a wheelman. Anyway, the robbery goes off sweet as a nut and uh, everyone's happy, except Harrington, who's been on a flat fee, finds out what the others have earned and um, is um, uh, jealous about this and uh, he has kept, he's been told to, to throw away um, a box and it's got the fingerprints on and he's kept it. Uh, so, uh, also the guys organising the junkets um, uh, realise that one of them is a weak member and he's got to be killed and there's all sorts of things like this going on. The, the atmosphere of the book is terrific. All these strands, the, the the dialogue in the bar, for example, you you could read for page after page after page, and 
really there's nothing to touch it until uh, Tarantino and Guy Ritchie came along with, with their dialogue in their f films, which was a delight. George V. Higgins had preceded them by several years. And uh, you can just sit there reading reading this and, and imagining the characters and how they talk. Um, there, there is the strand of religion, Catholicism, in, in the book where the, the, a lot of these characters are, are Catholics uh, and pay lip service to it, but they do awful things. So uh, there's several of his books I would recommend. Um, probably best to start with Friends of Eddie Coyle. Um, but uh, if you want to take one at random, then you couldn't really do better than The Diggers Game.